Hell yes, hell yes, I have returned. Oh, hold on, I'm not close enough to my mic. Hello, hello? Okay, that's better. Hello everyone, I have returned from my vacation. Do I wish I could go back? Maybe. But, now I'm stuck here with you animals. You absolute happy of a, of a person. Closing all my things down. I don't need anything open. I learned that uh, while streaming that I say um too many times. I say erm too many times. And then I also say a bunch of like weird things that are like really misaligned on what I'm actually saying. That being said, I even say like too much as well. So, uh, I guess watching my own clips actually helped me for a hot minute. Um, which, uh, you know, is a little disheartening <laughs> hearing myself speak like that. And uh, realizing how I sound sometimes really hurts me. Uh, I cringe really hard. This is why I don't even like editing my own clips. This is why I do not make my own clips. Uh, I'm going to disconnect my mic from my charger. Hold on one second. Hello? hello? Okay. That actually uh, I turned on my volume slightly. Strange. Uh, my vacation was all right. I got a new tattoo. Um, I learned about lobsters. Uh, yeah, th that's about it. That was my trip to Maine. <laughs> oh, I saw someone walking their pet pig. That was kind of interesting. Uh, mostly because it, it was like, I was in like Portland, Maine, so, quite interesting. Ah, uh, man, man, man. I'm trying to remember exactly what I was doing originally and what I was going to say originally. I should create like flashcards for myself. So I remember what I have to, like, actually say. But... I don't really remember, like, 90% of the things that I say or do. So... Yeah. I just kind of do stuff. I also, for some reason, give myself ad-libs. When I'm, like, thinking intensely. I don't know. I was just watching some of my clips, and I was just like, God damn, why am I doing that? Why, why am I saying that? Just hyper-focusing on myself. There was also other things that I noticed, like certain times when I breathe, my microphone catches it. Like, I think it actually just did twice there. And I'm like nowhere close to it, so I don't know if it's like a, a weird noise-canceling thing. Um got to figure that out oh and I also have really good news uh, I finally graduated from my sales courses and all that uh, so now I can actually start selling uh, directly without actually being with like a trainer so hopefully that helps my income and I can actually like get a better microphone like I've wanted to for the past like almost year and a half now but I always was putting it off for other things because my computer needs an upgrade. I, I need a... It gets bottlenecked with its motherboard connected to my, like, CPU. Because there isn't enough power supply going directly to it. But I can't connect more power to it because the, uh, the dual thing doesn't fit directly through the actual, like, hole that I have for it. So I think it would probably be better for me to just get a new case or just a whole new PC in general uh, that has a better case and better components and then just replace 
the certain components that aren't as good. But I'll figure that out. So today, on this lovely stream of a Friday, uh, we're going to be playing Galactic Care. Uh, it's Twitch integrated, so uh, anybody that really wants to jump in and actually like get their name in there, they can. Um, I said um again. God damn it. I'm starting it up. I gotta catch myself doing these things. It just makes it, like, sound better. If I don't, like... God damn it, I just said like twice. See, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I guess I'm still just really nervous when I stream, to be honest. Let me, uh, pull this up here. There we go. So yeah, I guess I'm just really nervous when I'm actually like streaming. So I just say things that have like weird transitions to them because I'm still trying to get used to it. It, it has gotten better, I have to say, um, from my first video all the way up to my last, but it's still there. I just don't know exactly how I can counter it um, and make it enjoyable at the same time. But I could just be hyper focusing because I do that a lot. I also was thinking previously, going back to what I was saying before, I, I wanted to create flashcards so then I can remember all the jokes that I tell and all the things that I say to make the stream more enjoyable. But I don't know if that's weird. So I don't know if I should do that or not. I mean, I do the same thing for my sales pitches as well. So I don't know if that's like something normal people do. Even now, like while I'm streaming, my hands are like shaking. My I'm like fidgeting with stuff, trying to keep my train of thought. I guess I just didn't realize how much anxiety I have doing this stuff. Even when there's nobody in it. I'll probably get better with time. But. Once I. Once I start getting used to what I'm going to say. Bro I'm going to say some of the most psycho things possible. By accident. Because once I get used to things. I just kind of say stuff that just either one doesn't make sense unless you're like really really like in the same headspace or nowhere even like close to the like the same headspace it's like weird to explain it's like if you're the complete opposite of the spectrum or the complete uh direct spectrum you're gonna understand it but anybody in the middle is just gonna be really confused <laughs> Um, I have my thing connected, so that should be fine with that. We're going to start a new game here. I've never played this game, so I don't know, like, I don't know what is going to be this game about. Greetings, Director. Let me be the first to congratulate you on Oh, you can do Sandbox or Story? and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Good? Ms. Orion is already good. on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? I think that's good audio balance. I hope so. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do for tomorrow. That's why I didn't put anything down. Um... I'm thinking about putting stuff down early so people know what I'm streaming. But sometimes I just don't have the time to do so. Even this Sunday, I'm not going to be able to stream as well. Because I'm going to Ren Fair with my fiance and her family. So, I'm going to see how that is. 
I've never been. before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I am Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galactic Air's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. Yeah, Soon, no one's surviving, I'm sorry to tell you. The solar system will darken our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Many bots on standby, Director. Before then, Ms. Orion wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Yeah, and there she is. All right. The prop to the... Bonjour, guten tag, moshi moshi director, and welcome to Galactic Air. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. I don't know if I like not one for all these voice actors already. Stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. They're kind of making so me cringe really here. hard. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, heel. Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes, we'll be panning, rotating, and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, my dear. That's easy. Please. Your All right. I'm sorry. I can't handle their voices. They sound like they're not like bad. It's just the dialogue that they actually say is really cringy. I, I tried to hold out as long as I can. I'm sorry, everyone. I can't. I can't actually deal with it. Just skip this. Get me. Get me the objects. Actually, where do I want to place this? Where's the entrance technically? I assume here. But I have to place it in here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna place it right there. Which is very cool. Actually, you know what? I could have been reading that. I didn't even think about it. But I think because the dialogue options are so cringy, I don't want to read it. <laughs> It sounds like a bunch of, like, old people trying to be hip with the new times. Um... Place a room. Does that have to be outside or inside? Oh, it has to be inside here. Okay. It has to be three by three. Good enough. Place a room door. Okay. There you go. That's a room. We're not going to spend money to help people. We're here just to take their money. Oh my god, everyone has skin? Let's get rid of it. Skin the lab. What a great name, actually. Uh... There. How do you rotate again? R and T. Okay. Doctor needed. Uh. Oh, they were already asking me to do so. Okay, but where are they at though? Oh, they're right here. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. All right, we're going to need this one. We're going to need psychopaths. We're going to reject anyone who's not a psychopath. All 
Oh wait, not that psychopath. The other psychopath. Why was there only one of them so far? Which one is this? Why is there psychopath and psychopath? Please explain that to me. All right. Well, anyway. All right, I did it. Hell yeah, I got rewards. We gotta open the hospital. Alright, so those just come to the shuttle and I'll actually like do that. Uh, apparently my people want decorations for their room. Okay, they, they also want a high decorated room. People have star warts. Staff lounge capacity, poor. What are you talking about? Okay. Everyone's just getting upset because the room is poorly decorated. What is he doing to them? Bone chamber required. We don't have that. Guess it's over. Guess it's over. <laughs> we need to build a bone chamber. I don't know those type of boning chambers. Four by four. Whoops. There you go. Have fun. Oh wait, they need a doctor, don't they? Yeah. Oh, and we have one right here. Hell yeah. Every doctor they go to is just gonna, like, break more bones as they go. Alright, how do I make people more happy? Inspect doctor's place. their mood affects their job. All right, we gotta keep it as low as possible. Actually, this is just an introduction. I'm not really gonna care about too much. <laughs> uh, toilet pod, right here. Right here. That. Need two vending machines. I have to rotate this one. Just to make people feel better. Uh, they need seating. There you go. And then they also want a staff lounge. Do 
that. Okay. Got the door. Put that there. Put that there. We got a full house. Well, almost. I don't I don't think that's healing them. <laughs> Dragged me away. They're able to clean up various forms of vomit. I can't even skip this scene. <laughs> oh my god. All right, maybe I should read some of these. What the hell? That was a lot less cringy. There we go. Wait, there's a giant creature about these. Oh. It's really weird that all the voices are muted, actually. Hold on. First of all, Mary, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to long human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. Electronic and eukaryotic persons of Galactica. I am Bazanoros. Look at that face. Oh my this god. Is fine in the interests of brevity. This is definitely going to try and be like my my intro for my YouTube video. Like, look at this. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Director, this is an opportunity we can't pass. Actually, I don't know why I muted them. <laughs> they weren't actually being weird. Let alone get all up in their biology. Let's help him out. First, you'll need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That'll let us take a look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. Uh, how do I dispatch this shuttle? The shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command, Director. Do I have to click it manually each time? I hope not. And away she goes! Our shuttle will collect the sample from Baz via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. The shuttle this is, is what I look the like. The sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, <laughs> which behave much like patients do, just with less, you know, brains. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. Remember, you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information. Stab on break. We want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Oh, you can pr prioritize patients. Hit the Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, well, anything you like, really, but emergencies in particular. Hold the teleport. Do it. What are they doing? <laughs> They're sick of their job. They need something to nice eat. Place.
immediately goes on break after we required something from oh wait we can fast forward hold on don't worry guys they'll get there soon There we go. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Despite his freaky space flesh, I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Oh. I don't know if that's healthy, man. Just saying. How do we How do we treat someone that's like that? How does that make sense? Oh, what's, what's wrong with you? He's disintegrating. Nice. So, we have all this money, right? Should we do something with it? Like, make another room? So we'll, we'll make another diagnosis room, I guess. And... Oh, these people are psychos. Reject all of them. There's uh, director, one. Heal? Some mean-looking mollusk just entered the hospital. Yes, Medic. Uh, those are vomit tongues. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Medi is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomitons himself, but if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> Just a, a little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. <laughs> You know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. You know, it's a hit or miss. Waiting for the skin lab. I guess we'll have to make another one. Considering we have more people now. Let's see, let's see. What's, uh, what's an even worse area that I can place stuff? Probably like right here. They just all got mad. Let's uh... Let's do this. There's so many people. Ah, another one. There we go. Ah, it's ready. Dispatch. Go fix them up. Oh, I forgot to mute them. Moment now. Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you, and there's the proof. Before I go, look at that. Look how many people are here. <laughs> Things traded or earned, 
I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Treatment cued in the bond. Well, I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Hair. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a high-dimensional oh, talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down. And map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh, uh die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the crafting we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. Just cancel. Cancel the room. Cancel everything. Our goal is to provide the best possible healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. Yeah, wait, why isn't it let me place more of the room? Come on. Try to place this new room. I know why. Let me let me do this. Let me rotate this right here. And then put this one right here. Place another vending machine, right? Make everybody happy. You're going there. Oh, did I just did I actually hit refuse? Damn it. Oh no. Okay, I, I did it right. Never mind. Sounds confused to me. What do we need? What's happening? Yep, we're open. Open for business, everyone. A. Hospital rating? Welcome okay. to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. Not to worry, should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential rewards you can earn. Feel free to peruse the remaining tabs at your leisure, or close oh. the panel when you're ready to proceed. Director, Ms. Araya has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a the training room is an environment oh, in which our okay, staff okay. can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing. With the memory experts oh. in their field, it can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. People can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, let's get a training room there Dang. so we can help our staff become their <laughs> Didn't even give them a chance. Whether they like it or not. A fine, fresh training room. Well, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. But I don't have anyone to really spare. I guess I'll hire a new person. You're going there. Are, are you assigned? They are not assigned. Probably. 
It's either this guy or this guy. Can't remember. Director, heal. There's a little creature floating around in here. Should I oh. zap it? That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are Give me the money. Harmless. And they'll deposit a large number of credits into our account when you catch them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm. The banking sector is a disaster. <laughs> That's usually how I feel every day. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares as thanks for helping me out. Sure. What are you I'll selling? Exchange any item for some credits. And just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, I've got a hollow dock, I think you call it. Oh, and I've also got a medibot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning. Yeah, give me that. Purchase I don't I don't want to hear uh over to your complaints about my hospital. As for the hollow dock, I must insist that you take it. It keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. The hollow dock emitter Baz has gifted us is a valuable piece of kit. A room upgrade. Place it in one of our treatment rooms and it'll kick into action. Hollow docks are driven by advanced predictive AI. They're not sapient and thus require neither pain nor rest. This would make them perfect doctors if not for the limitations on their AI, which prevent them from learning or demonstrating any personality whatsoever. These qualities do make them excellent corporate executives, however. Fair enough. You good? Uh, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise. Here's a fine choice. You're Try a bone to lab expert. expert. To the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Here, you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Choose one to continue. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well, All right, then. where is he? Director, select a Medibot to continue. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director. And with that, we completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. Hell yes. Look at how much money we're making. This is definitely a hospital. Oh, someone died. It happens. Receiving a call from can we, Dorian Can we Salazar, get that cleaned up? The CEO of Salazon. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're a robot, well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. My work is oh, no. performing an orbital trash discharge. And in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had walked into some manner of transparent slime. Here then is my offer to your fine company. If you're able to keep some workers alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll send you some space money. Of course, we'll send over a contract and then we can- That won't be necessary. Good luck to you and goodbye. Well, that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. It happens. People just keep dying. But you know, that's just Senator, life, you know? Emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. 
We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Let's save as many as we can. Be sure to prioritize them so they're seen to as quickly as possible. And I think now's the time to use that stabilizing solution we received from Baz. Save the dog. They're already at 30%. Yep, they're dead. Hi, Tree. I don't know if that was an actual person I needed to stabilize. <laughs> it's alright. I'll just make more. Uh, labs and treatment zones. There we go. And then bone chamber. Psychos only. No money. This is Dorian Salazar expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. Their colleagues there appreciate we go. you. Keep it up and so on. All right, there we go. Oh, this person didn't come level up. Uh, what are you assigned to? Diagnosis. There you go. Rest that person has that zero burden. Fellow. Oh. I pretend to be angry about their excruciating death, but I think we all knew it was on the well, cards. There goes one. It seems like everyone keeps dying in this room. <laughs> You'll be fine. Three of those workers have now informed us that they'll be ready for work in two hours. Rather better than expected, Galacticares. Saves us a good bit of time on ordering new interns. Yeah, you'll just have to rehire one of them. Very sad. It reduces mood. We'll stop dying. What else do you want from me? Oh, well maybe create a thing. This thingy. Sit there. There's so many people. chamber you're in diagnosis not bad galactic cares we'll barely have to pay any compensation to their aggrieved relatives your dosh is in the tubes along with a coupon for my preferred mustache oils Hell yes, that's what I need. Quite the ride, Director. I'm up to my pineal gland in new data. 
Either that you're, you're or I'm what? focusing on hypercalf. I'm going to dive right into genome mapping Baz. His cells keep phasing through the collector, so it might take a bit of tinkering. Heal will apprise you of our next job. But for now, thanks for making this real. You're bringing our dream to life. Now, let's change the galaxy. Excellent work, Director. Mazariah Why am I actually thrilled, healing people? We've already booked another contract. A music festival in Earth's Oh yeah, because it's the first mission. It. What's a music festival heal? In this case, Medium, I dread to a oh. Earmuff mode on standby. I'd rather great. circuits. That was a great level up. Exposure to Odian harsh noise. Director, should you prefer to hang about and Next level. Uh, wait, I only got three stars. Oh, because that, that counts as the hospital rating. Okay, okay. Good to see you back, Director. We're about... Chapter 2, Burning Moon. Let's go. Let's see what this is all about. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged, and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. The I very much thump, doubt thump, that. The thump you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Named for, well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright! Uh, Heal, why are they setting the moon on fire? Medi, it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get them on. You know, I was cringing before, but actually some of the dialogue's not that bad. I don't know if I'm dying of irony window. poisoning, though. But expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a ton um, of hope. I'm gonna give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am gonna kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'll be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. Never met him myself. Oh, four by four. Wow, hey. Um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this clear about before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. Thanks a bunch. It does look rather How gnarly do you... down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it... Oh, you know what? I can do it like this. ...working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Do it like that. Do it like that. I need a reception desk. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't oh, laser cutting surgery. it, so to speak. So, we switched over to high-intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crusty Aww. conditions people come down with. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. <laughs> I'm not sure how Mizorai managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution. That'd be funny. But here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. Don't do this to me. Okay. We are ready to open up at your command, Director. Uh, we're just gonna stay closed. We don't, we don't want anybody actually here. I, actually, I, that's a lie. We want money. Our patients are waste, Direct. Excellent. I'll let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready All to right. receive patients from the Remember. festival. Remember. Oh, hey, you guys are open Psychopaths now. only. Apparently, that's, that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying. No, I mean, my security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. No problem. This is, uh, this is taking a little bit. <laughs> Our first patients are arriving now, Director. Should they have access to a reception Wait. desk and a diagnosis Don't room, do they it. will begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. I don't have any other doctor besides one. And he's not happy either. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna hire them, and it's gonna be for the wrong thing. 
Hey, um, so we got all the people who got encased in <laughs> liquid metal rounded up. All right. And they've been, like, aggressively shoved into your shovels. Uh, so they're on their way now. Please fix them. Uh, we need their post-festival reviews for our socials. Thanks. There's another. Come on. Director, the patients who got coated with liquid metal have just arrived. Our first patients are beginning to arrive, and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Ms. Orion's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. Do I have to answer the call? The Dai and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, oh, artists, it reset it all them. Unfortunately, it was none of them that I could use. To do their isolation. They're created by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, Very relatable. other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows? Man, uh, am I ever gonna get a doctor? <laughs> I, I do, uh... Kuba Bali. These hearty steroids are patient, precise, Damn and it. durable. They rarely need a break. And it takes their bladders an almost supernatural uh. long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order and live in discreet tribes, all with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure. Known as concatenated ordering. I broke the exact it. details of how that all works aren't entirely understood. I broke it real bad. But it seems to work for them, so more power to them. Oh no, I really broke it. Guys, we, I fucked up. Any any good ones? Oh, it unstuck itself. I restucked it. Man. What's going on here? <laughs> People are definitely going to start dying. Oh my god, finally. All right, let's ignore the rest for now. Let's, uh, let's get some objects. Let's, uh, let's make a staff lounge. Wow, you guys are just lasering the metal off our crowd. That's so cool, I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh? There we go. Yeah, it's also very expensive. That's why we're making so much money. Uh, training room, three by three. Alright. Hello! 
Oh no, he's back. Perfect. I don't really have any m money for anything else. For now, at least. Thank you. Come again. Um. Half of those guys are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure it'll be fine. Put another diagnosis room here. The auto doctor. How are we looking? He's still here. I'll be off in good, just good. Giving. Right then. Back to the road for me. Yeah, get out of here. I'm sorry, that was mean. Why is my hospital? Decorations poor. What do you want from me? They want plants. Bravo on handling that emergency. It's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided a pre recorded message for you. Curious oh, and decorated rooms. Job. Hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. Thanks. Just what I wanted. And I'm not even lying. I actually did just want money. We're receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. Wow, hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick, like, big time. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. It wouldn't be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for, like, two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. Save Twiggy Pop. Let's go. No, oh, I didn't even see those. Finding all these random things on the ground. Wow! Heel! Twiggy Pop has arrived! I think she makes the best harsh noise in the galaxy! Mary, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into that voice actor? Wait, I actually know this festival, voice actor. And it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Why does everything smell of chlorine? So, you found out what's wrong with her? Some kind of flesh-eating bacteria? Okay, great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. <laughs> Yeah. What is uh what is wrong with these people's face? I'm done Does guy have something? Oh he has metal on his face. Okay. We got windows. Is there like a large decoration for the floor that I can put down?
this one, apparently. Stop complaining about our decorations, they're great. Hey! Thanks for keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine my what? resume. Huh? Hey, director. I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's made me pretty All right. good at the job. I also, guess this person's a doctor now. Really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work. More focused. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for taking me on, director. It's nice to get back to doing something I actually care about. Making another room. Warm greetings to you all. He's back. The creature. Welcome to the team, Dr. Pop. Oh, thanks, little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring Dr. Pop into the hospital now. And there she is. Hey, Director. Glad I can get down to work. Uh, Medi, oh, how's yeah. that coffee Okay, looking? so if I do this... I'm sorry, Twiggy, but Heel says coffee is illegal and that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Where are those guys? All right, now we need another one of these. And then I can put the auto doctor in there. Wait, I have two of them now? Nice. All right, laser surgery. Where do we want this room? Can we put another three by three here? Yes. There we go. Keep closing out for no reason. And there we go. Hey there. Dr. Pop, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants and experience, they gain powerful, uh. unique abilities. And sometimes we need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks for? Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know skin about lab. that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. Uh, and also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. <laughs> Acts until final? Ah, I know what it means now. I didn't even read it until now. Director, Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the festival goers, which, judging by the current set list, seems entirely justified. Director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, a psychological condition. It happens. Mr. Ryan's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll My fiance is the same the details. way. The Dreamarium. So, we arranged a trade deal with a planet ruled by psychic clans. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent yeah. us their services as therapists, basically, with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. 
Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. As soon as that room got built, I felt something in my circuits. Like a wave of weird electricity. Grand, maybe. Excellent work on building those dreamarium rooms, Director. We had to push the design a bit earlier than intended. We'd be without a means to treat psychological conditions otherwise. Give but I'm sure everything will work out Psycho fine. doctors. That's all I want. You can't stop me. Some patients with the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Or, <laughs> wait, uh, how about space fright? Seems like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. Thanks, Heal. Oh, yes. No, not at all. Space fright. Hey guys, uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids and I couldn't stop them and now a space rock is headed straight towards your station. Uh, what? Sorry and good luck with all that stuff. Oh. He's just kidding, right? They weren't kidding, just asteroids. Director, it looks like the festival isn't the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. Now nah, we're fine. No one died, I think. And if they did, I didn't notice. Hello, Galactica. He's back. I think I brought you the right bits. If not, it might just be bog rolls and videotapes. Pick that up to I, I take all these. Fancy that one. Smashing. A fine invention. I should get, get that one. The gizmos in there. I'll chuck it in. And then buy no, this. None of that's illegal. Uh, do that one. Drop these guys down. Back to the loom for me, Galactica. Is it working? I guess so. Uh, whatever's happening there. You use a clam to suck out their bad vibes? Wow, I wasted so much money on therapy. Um, I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc, mostly. But yeah, cover your ass. <laughs> Hey, at least it's working, you know? I don't see anything. Speed it up. It seems like the psychic clam stuff's going pretty okay. You know, I was married to someone who thrived on absorbing negative energy. Uh, that came out wrong. That was supposed to be a burn. Never mind. 
What did he say? I wasn't paying attention. You can view every single patient. Hey, sorry about the ex-wife thing. I've actually never been in a relationship and I don't know why I lied to you about it. Uh, can I come up there? There's stuff I'd like your mollusk to make not happen in my brain anymore. <laughs> That's gone excellently, Director. The Dreamarium is working a charm, and none of the patients seem to have any permanent loss of function. The room is now approved for long-term use. Another job well done. We're blazing along. Hell yeah. It looks like we picked up a cleanliness beacon. It projects an energy field which dissolves problematic waste, trash, and so on. Testing did suggest that the tooth enamel isn't necessarily safe either, so I'll keep an eye on our complaints box. Director, Ms. Orion is calling in. Something about the wonders of Craftium. She's a... Craftium? It's a wonder material that does exactly what it says on the tin. And I should know. I named it Craftium. <laughs> I like to think that one was a stroke of brilliance. You can use it to it recreate wasn't. practically anything you've seen. Even rare craft tech, like that cleanliness beacon you just acquired. First, select the crafting mode to begin the process. Do I really want to do now, that? Now, craft anything you like. Probably this. One brand spanking new... Uh, well, I can't see what you've made, but I'm sure it's great. Craftium! So cool. Now, I've got one oh, okay. more thing for you. The research lab. It's got a big old super Oh, hypercomputers. Hell doctors yes. doctors can use it to improve our craft tech blueprints. Or gain new insights into any of the conditions we've encountered. We used to hook their consciousness directly to the computer, but well, it occasionally created a nightmare portal which trapped their minds in a digital hellscape for eternity. So we don't do that anymore. All right, that's enough sapient interaction for one day. Catch you later, Director. Let's give that new Very expensive. A spin, Director. Place one down, and we'll see if we can't suss it out. The research lab is capable of two distinct functions, generating insight into conditions and upgrading our craft tech blueprints. Not oh, and you can add three now. doctors to it. Select the research lab, and in the research interface, select a blueprint to upgrade. With the blueprint selected, our doctors will begin to develop the improved version. This new and improved blueprint will dramatically reduce the crafting cost. But unfortunately, it's attuned specifically to the station we're currently on. You'll need to complete the research again in each new hospital. The research lab can also boost our research efforts into any condition of your choosing. This will generate some research directly. It also generates insight into conditions. Insight greatly increases the research generated for that condition whenever you have it stockpiled. Nice. Hello, Galactica. It's me again. Oh my god. It's Leonard Moon again, calling about another ailing musician. Ooh, that one's new. Pick that yeah, up. Give me that. You. Reject all. Oh my god, there's another whole musician who is now dying for no reason except to make this whole festival a waking nightmare. Can you fix him, please? His name is Clem Bansig, and he's a coital tyrannosaurus, which, which probably has something to do with all this, but I don't judge, and neither should you, or anybody. If I want to slop around with roadies until my flaps catch fire, that's up to me and the creator. Clem, I mean, that's fun. If Clem wants to do those things. Look, just get him back to us, okay? There's too much on the line for it all to be taken down by Bansig's love for the fizzy pump. I'll give you lots of money and goodbye. Money? That's what I... That's all the motivation I need. $3,000? Holy crap. A horde of laxites has made its way inside the Here, station, Director. He just arrived. He's shaking like an aging pirate. Oh, yes. Uh, I, Clem Bansig, am badly diseased from my many fallacious adventures. Actually, sir, it seems like you might have just had too many energy drinks. Oh, uh, uh, I didn't think you'd actually know. 
please. Uh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Naturally. Yes, patient confidentiality is vital in our line of work. I really hope he tells everybody. Diagnosed? An addiction to energy drink? Huh. I don't know why I thought it was something venereal. Branding, probably. Honestly, I don't even know if Coopers have anything down there. They could be like mushrooms or something. <laughs> Diagnosis. Why is that taking the longest? I guess we'll have to build in our room for that. I guess I'll put it on this sec side. Oh man, I feel way better now. Now I can get back to uh, romping again, which I do all the time, just so you know. Good for you, sir. Best of luck. I don't even know what that means. Why does he have pills? Wait, hold on. Oh, galactic jam. Got to tell you, I had a handful of two cans of toxin energy squirreled away in uh, somewhere. Uh, I figured I'd donate them to you, considering they're so tasty and busy and all, and caffeinated. And they get your mind going, and you start to vibrate, and uh, oh, I miss it already. Hey. Can we just turn this shuttle around? Hello there. I hope you're all well. Oh, now he has those as well. Is shrinking down the phone about lights or some such business. Hope it helps you out. Hey, are you medical guys any good at the cyber? Because we have issues with the cyber. And if you don't do something, I'm going to have a panic attack. Mr. Moon, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that our contract covers. It covers it. I put it in there. Holograms are just as important as the musicians to me, man. They're people. It's in the contract. You have to believe me. Please. Director, holograms can't be covered because they don't actually exist. That said, it is probably worth doing this so that our client doesn't cork it before he can pay us. So, that means we'll be performing health care on the lights, using our trusted Woo! canisters, of course. What we'll need to do is take the canisters, cart them over to laser surgery, and shoot them with the lasers until they're so full of lasers that we can do health care on the lights. Fix the whites, all right. The canisters are ready to be thoroughly lasered. are still out? Oh no, I think I'm dying. Not like this. No. no. That's actually me. As, I'm I'm sure he's fine, Director. That's that's how I react when the lights go out in my house. Well, 
The doctors are done putting all the lasers in those canister guys. That they are, robot. Our treatment canisters are ready to be delivered down to the festival. I've been talking to them a bit, and they seem kind of weird, but nice. You've been talking to them. I'm fairly sure that nobody's home. Please help me. Yeah, we've been sharing data. Being a motorized tube seems hard on people. How long will they be gone? Well, the energies involved will totally atomize them on delivery, so, you know, a while. Oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> so. Uh, wave goodbye to your friends, Betty. Uh, rotate, rotate. There we go. Vomitungs are stalking the hospital. The shuttle it's awaits your dispatch order. Uh, uh, everyone's not talking. Down. And away they go. What a thrill. Oh good, you're still here. Uh, do I seem any younger? I'm in a new body and I feel gorgeous. Anyway, we see your canisters coming and they're full of lasers. Uh, great. Good luck. And somehow, Leonard Moon has returned. What a thrilling twist. Wow, that worked. You've officially saved my ass. This is my, uh... Are back on and everyone is vibing and stuff. Thanks. This is my favorite anime. Hello, Can I just assign someone here? Alright, I signed them somewhere else by accident. Try not to spend it, on it doesn't matter. I, I have I robots to do my job now. Money. Sorry. I, I don't know why I said that. Uh, I'm going through a bad divorce, and my dog has me by like plague, and uh... Can I'm this sorry, work in here? I'm not... I'm not no. normally racist. It's the stress. Wait, what? Sorry. Huh? There should be a good range of guns. Leonard Moon is having old problems by the sounds of it, and not just personally. Catch you later. Oh, hey. Hi. Um, so you ever have one of those days where it feels like an evil spirit is trying to harass you into a psychotic break? Anyway, yes, um, every all day. four members of the band, the Exolodes, are about to die soon from burns they decided to get as a prank, I guess. And if you can't heal them, uh, please just eat them or whatever you people like to do. I'm, like, totally done with this. Thanks. Hey, we're doing really well. Director, the Exolodes are now stepping off the shuttle. We'll be able to experience the fairly we gained a reputation and gave culture. us plants. How exciting. Wow, this is amazing. Cool spot, man. I am dying big time. Yeah, it's always about you, right? Don't you care that man is an anxiety spiral? Whoa! That's a harsh and unhealthy form of mind reading and catastrophizing that I'm just, like, not into. It's fine, Tim. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to hang out. You've got to stop Sounds like Jim walk over you all the time, man. there are a bunch of different voice actors that are, like, for cartoons. But I can't remember I which cartoons they're from. With this common drama triangle situation. Whoa. Look at that pile of fluids on the floor. I'm gonna drink that like right now. Hmm. It also seems like the the amount of patience in the game increases. Uh as you like progress like time based. Maybe it's cycle based. 
because hospital rating doesn't seem to do any major effect to it, so. Whoa, I thought I was screwed, but then these ape people did a whole bunch of hell stuff to my awful body, and now I can do music again. Wild! Oh man, I feel like I could choke myself out. I haven't been in this good shape for like 300 years now. Thanks to the new mojo health people. Almost done. Man, I feel so good. I might even try and raise my arms above my head again. Thanks, health people. This has been really pretty okay. You're entirely welcome, my elderly friend. I look forward to hearing your performance. Wow! Really? Good luck to you, Mr. Clyde. Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Hey, it's great I'm still alive. I feel good, right? Physically. You guys have any stuff for being in a dark spiral of anxiety and self-doubt? Electrocute my brain or something? Afraid not. Good day, sir. Oh. Okay, that's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, fine. Oh man, you got them all fixed already? Okay, that's actually really great because I was starting to wonder if I should just nuke the festival and like flee to the outer rim. Yeah. Hey, thank you. This has really made my day. Hello there. I hope you're all well. Having a gander. A fine invention. Didn't really want anything else. Just give us that. Oh, I have more than one. Does Actually, some do you have... Bombs, really? it does have another hollow dock. <laughs> Judges every action a doctor takes like a disappointed parent. You know what? Let's get it. Love a good trade. And you were the first person because you had a red icon on yourself. No, no! The final act, the headliner, the colossal musician, they got a disease that melted their skin off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my god. I think I'm dying. Am I dying? I feel like I'm being electrocuted. You've got to fix this, please! Hello, Galacticare. Well, this is a training room. I don't believe we've been introduced. Gazria, for the purposes of this event, Baz has a lot to say about you. Seems to think you might be capable of I don't know which one this person is actually assigned to. Sorry for the inconvenience of my affliction, but I wanted to see if you're all he's made um... to be. It's quite funny to screw around with Leonard Moon. And Bone I chamber, that I guess. Headliner get half consumed would give his heart a real kick. Oh, this does hurt rather a lot more than I thought it would, though. Having your skin rapidly eaten away isn't my idea of an interesting night. Any chance of a hand? Well, I, uh, I certainly don't see why not. Well, this has turned out to be rather interesting. Word gets around, eh? As before, we'll need to dispatch a shuttle to take a tissue sample, and from there, figure out the best way to treat Gazria's rotting flesh. Dispatch one when you're ready. A successful launch. Good job, Director. The sample has been collected, yeah. and the ambulance is on its way back. Let's get it over to Diagnosis. Get rid of all these little guys. So we just got done analyzing the sample, and the damage is pretty gnarly. She's been devoured by the same bacteria I was. Treatment canisters are deploying now. If we can run them through skin lab and laser surgery, we should be able to patch her up. Yes. Uh, uh, pardon? The treatment canisters. The colossal. Laser surgery? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, terribly sorry. Uh, 
Paper for a new fusion train design was just released. Uh, rather distracting. What? Nothing at all. Uh, good luck in there and so on. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> Just like a real hospital. I'm making bank. We have a sudden Lexite problem, Director, and if we don't zap them to oblivion, our flaws may end up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Hello! What, is, what does that even mean? Again. Browse away. I'll chuck it in. Get this one. Another one in. Room already has. Oh, you can't place them. Okay. Yeah. Had to clean some of this up. Not easy with flippers. See you later, Galactica. I'm off for a spot of cheese. He sounds like somebody you would speak to in Baldur's Gate or Mass Effect. The canisters have been processed and are ready to have a crack at Gazria's dreadful meat situation. Spectacular! Let's get them shipped off. The shuttle is primed and ready for your launch order, Director. I think Baz might have been right. Honestly, I haven't felt better since before this moon was formed. Shame what they're doing to it. Still, I can get close to them and begin to understand their minds, so I'll take what I can get. You're some good eggs, Galactic Hair. Take care of yourselves and watch out for the debris. Looks like we're all done. Let's check in with Gazria. Oh, wow. Oh, that was perfect. I guess I never had anything to worry about. Uh, thanks for all the health care you did, and here's a shipload of credits. I gotta go prep for the big finale. Toodles. Not enough. Not worth it. Wait, they're locked. What would you say I unlocked it and then locked them? This game already hates me. It's on? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, thank you for sticking with us. We're about to blow the biggest damn hole in this burning moon since the festival began. Get ready to Oh ring my in god, are they doing the, the dance that I think they're doing? There. Because it's the fun. unity dance because it's wild. and just because we can behold oh i'm so glad they censored it <laughs> wow well, that's uh, that's quite something i'm sure everyone's fine director I, uh, the first time i ever seen anybody do the dance it was thanos to, uh, remove the moon well, that's all you're up for, Director. I and the other staff can take care of the after party for you if you'd rather head off. Our next contract awaits whenever you'd like to get us out of here. Well done, by the way. That went rather well, I thought. Well, we made a lot of money, so yeah. Your choice, Director. We can stick around. I'm out of here. How many missions are there in this game? We're en route to a way station along the galactic track. This game is very strange. 
I don't know really how to describe this like feeling I feel as a plant. It's kind of like I feel like I'm zoning out. I don't know if it feels like it's mundane, Director, but playing it, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is what I need to do. So oh, on. yep, okay. Welcome. Yep, I am uh, wow, that's pretty funny. That's literally how I feel all the time playing this game. Many will have need of your services. Your principal concern is a train lost in loam space. Only recently did we receive an update from its systems. I guess this game feels like a fever dream. for its arrival. The timing is uncertain, but it will emerge. In the meantime, many trains... Especially with that. Good luck. Well then, I'll prepare my spirit for the oncoming train-based excitement. As usual, Director, when you're ready to open the hospital and have us be bombarded by patients, let me know. I think it has to be at the same thing. Something like that. some trains very well director i'll assure the trains that they can drop off their meat to cargo at any time i'm sure this will be of great relief you make it sound like they have anxiety mary we all have anxiety true Director, we've received our first tanky patients. Ms. Orion has a bit of a history with them. I'll let her explain. Answer the call. Ah, oh, the tanky! First off, incredible engineers. Tenki patients love seeing both upgraded and well-maintained rooms. They also adore machines, so much that when they're happy, they'll repair equipment just for the fun of tinkering. Little furballs after my own heart. Tenki are innately biomechanical. The theory is that they were engineered by another ancient culture. Each Tenki inherits a package of nanomachines from their parent, which then unfolds into cybernetic augmentations as they grow. I actually implanted myself with Tenki nanobots I got from an old fling, which is why my liver has tubes and whistles occasionally. <laughs> anyway, they think what? a mile a minute. They adore machinery and are incredibly, incredibly fuzzy. Make sure you hire some if you can. Galactic Care Director, a train is en route to you carrying pilgrims from Pyrestone, a Cooper Valley Shrine World. Please help them to be alive, as they are currently struggling to do so. Based on the manifest, we should expect at least a dozen patients suffering from a mix of shattered arm, twisted tail, and motion sickness. Director, the patients suffering from motion sickness are going to require something quite extreme to get them sorted. As if by freaky precognition, Ms. Orion seems to have just the thing. I like how I keep giving myself challenges in games that I've never Get played a before. Load of this bad boy, the centrifuge. Motion sickness is a condition where the inertia of traveling at relativistic speeds somehow gets stuck due Not to fits. errors in space time. The solution is obvious. We spin them right round, baby. And hey, it actually works. The stuckness of their relativistic frame gets flung right out. Also, uh, don't touch the sides while it's spinning. You'll explode. 
We'll need oh. at least a couple of centrifuges to handle the load of the emergency patients. Plop some down wherever you find the time. My uh, uh my mouse is now hovering over the other thing. Um It's not like that previously. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, I'm gonna alt tap. Did not fix it. Alright. We will suffer. Trying to get that doctor though. Well, that's doing that. Let's uh, let's see what we can craft. Those require 300. That requires 200. That requires. Okay. So then we need this. traits that you want for doctors. I would make this 10 times easier. Oh, I can hire this person. The Pyrestone train with our first batch of emergency patients is pulling into the station now. Get a new person for that. Still not look what I'm looking for. There's the club, they're in the bone chamber. Get this room. Greetings to you all. Having a gander. Ooh, it's payday. Actually, I got it for free. I am pay you a dime. Yep, that's what I'm trying to fix. That's why I did that. Ah, there we go. Which one doesn't have a person? Uh, it says everyone's there. So I will hire this person for this. I'm off to catch up with the news. Oh, apparently if you go into debt, you just kind of die. Alright, let's make sure that doesn't happen. can get like skins and such okay I get out of this we're on route to a waste 
Okay, you can just resume. Oh, this one doesn't have a doctor. You go there. They don't look so good. Glad to hear a passenger was cured. Good news. People better alive than dead. Thank you. Make me more money, please. It's fine. We are in debt, Director. That will change soon. Sure, exactly what I want to place Have a here. Passengers from train treated. Glad you're here. Please do your best. I'll place more seating in here, though. Why is no one coming up here? Give me a hand. Here. Oh, my feet dying. Give me money. Hello, Galactica. It's me again. Fancy that one? Smashing. Give me that. A horde of Laxites has made its way inside the station, Director. Catch you in the void. Making money. Let's, uh... Let's get these ones.
And I'll have two extra doctors that I can use. Oh, actually three of them. down all passengers treated huge success thank you galactic care don't have to worry about hate crime accusations now wait what uh Maximum efficiency. Incredible work, Galactic Air. We'll request your hospital design later. Much to learn from the schematics. Knowledge bars there we go. Crunchy now we got money. Acuity. Learn faster. Good for lipoprotein problems. That other zone right there. Ultra, health administrator for Null 7. Tanky colony comprised of those afflicted with a rare disorder. Heard Galacticare was here, came to ask for help. Condition is psychological in nature. We call it the voice, and afflicted Tanky are ostracized, exiled. Hope your technology can help. Director, the Dream Area may actually be able to help. And hell, it's worth a shot if anything is. Please make sure we have a Dream Area ready to receive our fluffy guests. I can't place it there. It's blocked. Ugh. Um. No, can't put that there. Oh wait, this. Yeah. Hello, Galat. As Ms. Aran has stated, we shall ensure that we have ample Dream Marians available before our new tanky friends arrive. Oh, wait. I'm below minimum size. How would it let me do that? You know what? Move these back slightly. Very finicky. Yeah, I think I it like just right for it to work. Ultra has arrived. I'm patching her through now. Hello, Galactic Care. As the colony's physician, I will submit myself to your experiment first. Should it prove successful, we can roll it out to the rest of the afflicted. If you say so. I'm afraid we have gone into debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so loud. And I'm not talking about in game. Alright. Let's just keep placing down 
doctors for here. And they actually gave me four in a row, so that's pretty good. Mollusk reveals a hidden connection. Implanted? Something left over? Can feel the ancient enemy. Drives us to devise dark machines. Cause ruin. With Mollusk's aid, I can close the ports. Seal it fully away. Put those there. Take me more money. My, my mind is clear. Didn't know this was how it was supposed to feel. Deafening silence. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Director, this is amazing! This is a radical breakthrough with a heretofore unknown condition. Galacticare, baby! Galacticare, I'm keen to help. Long years of service in the colonies can have. What is your trait? Oh. Medicine and You're probably machines. good at a, like a diagnosis care. area then. Director. Pleasure to work for you. We'll try to explain my specializations, abilities. I work rapidly. Tanky tradition. Things to fix, patients to heal. Also, I have a personal teleportation device. Can quickly blink around the hospital. Welcome aboard, Ultra! These With guys are getting overwhelmed. And how impossibly fluffy you are. You'll be an invaluable addition to the team. You can help us roll out this treatment to all the other us, please. little tenki. Another how do you one feel about on that? both sides. You feel slightly fetishized. However, your technologies are curious. Interesting fusions. Risky designs. I accept. Would love to help. Other tanky suffering from the voice's influence will join us now and attempt treatment. Tails crossed. Hello, it's me again. All right, all right. Uh, give me this one. You go there. To build another one over here. Probably. See you around space. Uh, uh, let's do this. And I'll move this thing. Right here. Still researching? No. Okay. That. Yeah, this game outright just feels like a fever dream, bro. Honestly. A success for the Dreamarium treatment. Edit room. Many years without hope. And now, a bounty of it. Thank you. Mm. 
staff launch capacity? Okay. Probably saying about this area is being undecorated. Yeah, I need to do something over here. That's even or not, but hopefully it is. Ah, yeah, and then the four ones. Half of all affected tanky now cured. Galactic Air will transform the lives of tanky who struggle most. Will work harder. Warm greetings to you all. Just some bits and What are you offering? Let's take one of those. None of that's illegal. Put them in the dream areas. You have know, another one I can buy? A yes. fine invention. money they actually make. done all my comrades now cured thank you director we'll never forget this never resolve my debt to you very grateful all tanky patients cured of their connection to the voice staggering never expected such an outcome privileged to be here for this breakthrough give me your money we'll let's go pads. Just finished tinkering. Stand on one pad, zoop to another. Technical term. Check your pockets afterwards. Can I use them to heal? I've never been teleported around before. Mary, I don't have the foggiest idea, so I'll simply say yes and keenly await the results. Good luck, <laughs> little fellow. I feel like that's my entire like mood right now, the actually. Is on its way. Pilot reports an encounter with a hypercool nebula upon exiting the loan net. Passengers inside seriously affected. Please do your best. A particularly frosty train this time, it seems. Fortunately, Ms. Orion has been hard at work on a solution for snapped frozen tissue. We'd better get prepared. Director, Ms. Orion has yet another ingenious new idea. Or crackers, depending on your perspective. Director. Some conditions will require a radical new form of treatment. And after an extended episode that of That does Insomnia, not look safe to figure out just the thing at all. Done. No matter how, you know how skill what on way people, you look you at it. And how guys <laughs> are about getting past those things and inside the mortal body. Because bullets love to do violence? It's like that, but instead of bullets, it's medicine. It can also be a flamethrower. 
gently and unobtrusively thawing the snap frozen flesh of our patients without causing any permanent damage. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Hope this helps. Rather challenging getting projectile medicine past weapons regulations, but we managed. Director, our incoming emergency patients will require a couple of projectile medicine rooms to be ready for them. Build them where and when you please. Alright. Find some doctors. Said, find some hey, doctors. It's me again. I think I brought you the right bits. If not, it might just be book rolls and videotapes. Perfect. Hope it helps you out. What is good? One pad here. One pad here. Right then. Back to the road for me. One pad there. And one pad here. There we go. The conveniently named Snowbreaker train has arrived, and its lucky patients are disembarking now. What a game. It's definitely, like, I feel like this game had a rough start, right? But afterwards, it was actually pretty good. Also heard you cured them with a modified weapon. Quite pleased. Tanky and Galacticare will get along. <laughs> Wait, do that again. Oh, they'll hold up. Yeah, that doesn't really look that safe. Have been spotted in the station. Cured now. Appreciate your hard work. Would like to experience your flamethrower one day. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Still doing that one. I keep finishing my research on other ones over that one. Hello there. I hope you're all well. Had to clean some of this up. 
not easy with flippers. Let us. All passengers now treat you far exceeded this one our now. performance expectations. Astonishing. And then we'll we'll put them like here. Oh wait, does it uh does it level up to max? Impeccable. Better than tanky efficiency. We'll send you a special tanky baklava as thanks. Hell yes. Unloading loan gate technology to your station. Uses your loan tapping technology to bring in more patients. May help your metrics. Good for a challenge. Galactic Care Director, hello. Some late departures from Burning Moon are due to arrive at your hospital for various treatments. Likely intoxicated. Wishing you luck. Burning Moon, eh? Unless something else exploded, I imagine they're suffering from the same conditions we encountered while on contract there. I'm gonna put a desk here. This train to arrive. This we have Lexites in the hospital, Director. Take care of them for me. Oh, my God! Oh, no. What in the blazes? A delightful tiny bus has driven onto the tracks. It's ch that is, is that Band Six vehicle? The Kuba Bali musician we saw too just the other day. It is I, Clem Bansig, here from yet another scintillating adventure. Mr. Bansig, may I ask why your bus is directly on the tracks? You've interrupted the next train's destiny. Yes, yes, I'm sorry for getting in the way, but I'm suffering from a very confusing issues and well, you did such a good job before, I thought you might be able to help us again. Mr. Bansig, have you encountered any vending machines lately? No, I... Yes, yes, I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but if I don't get back on the road soon, my manager's gonna edit my genome and clone me. They have the right, you see. Nothing to worry about, sir. We'll salt you in a jiffy. That said, it may have been wiser to queue rather than park in the way of 180 tons of oncoming virile train. I don't care. I want that train to really go to town on me. Just pace me into ruin right here. Dead we all, sir. <laughs> Man, this game is definitely, uh... Yeah, I, I still can only describe it as a fever dream, honestly. I'm like trying to think of anything that I can do while also doing this, and it just feels like this game is taking up all my brain power because they're just constantly throwing new stuff at you. I finally feel like myself again. Thank you. It's not a bad thing though. I hope I can get back on track. I feel like if you uh, computer. if you were just playing the game outright, you this game would be really fun. Oh. That was fast. Thanks a lot. I'll try to avoid fizzy drinks in the future. But the label, they keep setting me up with these promotions. Hello, Galactica. Browse away. What do you have? You have that. Give me that. And the poor train that with the as buttons well. of carrying the burning moon revelers is now finally arriving. Can I build any more? O's, I get two. Director, vomit tongues have been spotted in the station. See you later, Galactica. 
I'm off for a spot of cheese. Wait, what did I place this one here? Oh wait, did I place them right next to each other? No. I'm not sure where this one came from. No, we put it there. I get so much lag from that. waiting for people to get diagnosed. Seems like it's taking a pretty long time. Luckily we have teleporters, but... Let's do that. Clear the space. First passenger of the Burning Moon train is securely treated. Very good. Hope this repeats. I do not like the way this is set up, but I'm gonna leave it. Half of the emergency passengers now cured. Strong trajectory, Galactic Air. Fine work. You know, I'm really surprised more people haven't died. Warm greetings to you all. There should be a good range of gubbins here. Why are you so sad?
What do they want from me? Director, black sites have been spotted in the station. Almost done. Treated and safe, highly efficient. Much respect for your operation. Ain't no way. Noise cancellation prevents you from hearing our standing ovation. Suboptimal. Oh. Stunning. You have achieved maximum performance during that emergency. Event. <laughs> oh no. We'll Wait, I just realized of capabilities. that I think about 90% of the patients moan in pain. So that means their voice actors had to like, you know. Oh no. I've uh, ducked off the intense toxin I had hidden. My managers have industrial crates of this stuff. So I don't need these anymore. Forever. Right. I forgot. Sorry. Director, a Terran based company, Cabal Incorporated, has had a logistics train suffer damage. The payload consists of damaged, leaky canisters. No normal passengers. Routing them to you now. Well, we've certainly handled canister based issues before. Nothing a spot of laser surgery can't fix, I imagine. Hello there. I hope you're all well. Mm. Pick that up just for you. I'll chuck it in. Oh, I don't need more of those. Never mind. Come again. You know what's kind of funny? Certain sounds in the game make me think I'm getting notifications on Twitch. It's like they they readjusted the pitch of Twitch notifications. You in the void. Oh, yeah. Look at that money. Look at that rating. Am I actually good at ma managing hospitals? from Cabal Incorporated has arrived and is discharging its canisters.
stinky friend fixed up. The spillage is worrying me, though. It's goopy and kind of melts the floor. It happens. their research on this. No, it's still going. Several of the canisters have now been repaired. The substance they contain is totally new to me. I wonder where they're going. Vomitungs are stalking your hospital. It's worth getting rid of them if you want your patients to keep their food down. Oh, it just attracts them and immediately. Okay. I think I'll put it here then. <laughs> it's just constant. Most of the canisters have been fixed up. It seems they're headed deep into Dionysus space. For what reason, I'm not sure. Hello. Incredible precision. Beautiful to see you handle machinery as well as you have. Makes a tanky proud. Sending you a large bonus, and mm. thank you for your work. I see that one. Smashing. Yeah, that sound. That sound is like a <laughs> a readjusted uh, Twitch notification sound. It's pretty funny. Director, Kappa is informing me that we're not expecting any more emergencies for now. That sounds like downtime to me, at least until the sleeper train arrives. Curious about the train's condition. Lost in loam space for some time. Ship loss is occurring more frequently. Well, how's that for timing? Speak of the devil. It's the sleeper. It's finally arrived. And by Jove, it's in a wretched condition. Oh, the humanity. The wrong path, the wrong tunnel, unnatural ends cauterized, slowing the great death. Uh, apologies, Director. Maddie's been fiddling around with the translator. Cleaning that up now. We were lost for years. Patients only now awakening, encrusted by lone spaces, Icarus. Please help them before I return. We've received the manifest from the sleeper. Most of the passengers are suffering from a new condition, which we are tentatively calling hypersleep crust. Rush the day. patients are disembarking now. What's wrong with him, Heal? I've never seen anything like this before. I've been reviewing their security footage, Medi, and mm, I'll tell you when you're older. Oh no. <laughs> Tongues are stalking your hospital. It's worth getting rid of them if you want your patients to keep their food down. We've cured our first emergency patient, Director. Many more to go. Uh, is this gonna work for me? Okay. So many patients to go. 
Border congestion. Not use flame towers on them. She stepped out. Oh, okay. Hello, it's me again. Just some bits and bobs, really. Think that one's new. So, what about this here? Yeah. Almost halfway there. So what are you doing? Catch you later. Half of them are cured now, Director. Splendid progress. No idea. detected inside the station director same place yep Almost done. Just looking at all the character designs. prioritized and it was like nah he's going first there you go have fun because you were actually complaining hello galactica it's me again Take another one, but I'm not gonna put another one down. Always love a good trade. Yeah, 
Yeah, get out of here. There we go. And every emergency patient is cured. We'll just get Medi to crack the crust off that train and call it a hundred percent success rate. Where is he going? Is he going all the way to the back? Or the front? Actually, which way is... Impeccable. Oh, this is the back so of the train, okay. I was right to escape when I did. Oh. I will return now. My home is in its Train is so fast you can't even see Goodbye. it. Well, that was a frenzy and a half, but we got there. Splendid work, Director. Guy achievement, mind the gap. Goodbye to all those remarkably handsome trains. But you never know, we may meet again someday. How about it, Director? Fancy hanging around to spend... Let's see it. Let's see the next one. Big Pharma. That's a very appropriate name. But for me, I'm so tired, to be honest. I was having real bad IBS this morning, and. For me, this game is fun, but definitely not the stream, I think. There's just too much going on, if that makes sense. Um, did enjoy it. I'd probably rate it like probably a 7 out of 10 or a 3 out of 5. Um... Got a message by from Xbox directly. They're like, hey, you just played that game. You got some points. Claim your free stuff. No, I won't. Either way. Uh yeah, I would probably rate the game like three out of uh three out of five, uh, or seven out of ten, depending on like how you want to go with the ratings, I don't really care. Um, it had cringy dialogue in the beginning. Then as it progressed, it got a little bit less cringy and more like in the feeling. Um, which made it, made it pretty good. Um, oh no, here I go again. I think I just said um like five times, my bad. I think the game itself could use improvements, especially with like throwing so much at you and it kind of like expects you to know what's going on, but also gives you constant dialogue with it. It makes it unable to really like talk in between. Um, that's my personal opinion though. But either way, the game was enjoyable. I'm probably gonna hit the hay very soon because I feel like I am about to pass out. So I will see everybody in the next one. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Sunday I won't be streaming. I'm going to Ren Fair. Um, I don't know what it is. Never been there. Never really looked it up either. So we'll see what's going on with that. Um, but tomorrow I'll be streaming between 2 and 6. Uh, I think I might be streaming Noida. I got a 100% check. But I definitely want to stream Noida. Um, but I'll figure it out when we actually get into it. Let's see here. I think more. I think it's uh, a more than likely scenario. If not, I would probably be, be streaming Botany Manor or Humanity. So I have a few games that I could play. But yeah, I think that's everything for me for tonight. 
I hope everybody has a good rest of your night. Uh, I'm slurring over my words because I'm so tired. I apologize. And, uh, see everybody in the next one. Peace.